Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Virgos. This month, the focus is on your beliefs, your dreams, musical or creative talent, your confidence, your sensuality and self love, and love and compassion for others, including children, your inner child, and social groups and causes. And how you express or promote these things on the internet and relate to social groups and causes and gain abundance and even share abundance and create opportunity for others as a boss or as a business person. It's about you figuring out how to use your money, privilege, or platform wisely. It's about feedback and how others feel about you and these aspects of you as well and how you do or don't let it affect you, how maybe it inspires you to reconsider your point of view, your values, or to shift the energy dynamics in your relationships, or to pivot and capitalize on something. It's also about maybe how you maintain your beliefs and standards in certain relational dynamics and just let the world adjust. The month begins with a full moon and Capricorn in your fifth house. And so with this, it could be about you ending or even beginning a period of celibacy or travel for work or fun. This could also be something you do getting significant attention and even scrutiny, or you having something evaluated by a boss or being the boss and having to give feedback and instruction. And you just sort of coming to terms with the limited control that you have over public opinion or others' actions in some way. It's about your inner world and you being in a sort of state of reflection about all of these things this month and about you contemplating the psychology or deeper meaning of things that transpire in the larger world and in your personal world this month. And you're sort of coming to terms with things that you discover, right? Maybe criticism, research, information, feedback, or red flags you are unaware of that invoke feelings of anger, shame, discomfort. And ultimately, this month being about what you do, okay? And speaking of what you do, the theme of the month's astrology is about these big kinds of audits. And the balancing act of this kind of deep review work with all of the practical responsibilities of life as we come to this big choice point in an energetic shift with the new moon in Cancer and the lunar node shift on the 17th. Related to this, I'm definitely getting a message here about some of you feeling like you can't have bad days because you're fortunate, right? Feeling some sort of guilt about that. And with the challenge, we have the Fool and the Death cards here and This is speaking about this big choice point before you this month that has big stakes, right? And that could engender potential big losses or gains, right? Maybe because it's related to a mutual asset being involved. For example, if you have a baby or a shared business or a business partner who could be affected by your decision, or you are the one affected with some actions or decisions made by someone else, right? Or even you just being a witness to someone else going through some of these things mentioned, right? With the seven and the five of swords here. And with the advice being for you to just give someone compassion or lend an ear, right? Because we have the it's okay to not be okay card here coming up, all right? And um, this could absolutely be, you know, related to, you know, the outcome is this five of swords. And so there is this sort of message here to not be so hard on yourself. And if you are the person who is sort of like holding space and witnessing some of these things for someone else, then, you know, maybe this is the advice that you're giving to someone, you know, that it's okay to not be okay and to not be so hard on yourself, right? And um, the sort of choice point for you this month being about, again, your limited ability to even change things about others and even for others, right? 
to do what you can, right? Um, and do it, you know, with high intentions and with high effort. But then, you know, the rest you sort of have to really leave to the divine, right? You work in co- in co-creation and in partnership with the divine. Um, but you know, ultimately you still can surrender things to the divine. So we're going to wrap up your message with the angel number that came through for you. So the angel number that came through for you all is 1212. And the number one here is about creation and new beginnings, courage, inspiration, self-leadership, leadership, assertiveness, and initiative. It's about creating your realities with thoughts, beliefs, and actions, and it encourages us to step out of comfort zones in order to attain our goals. Number two represents balance and harmony, duality, faith, devotion, insight, cooperation, adaptability, and diplomacy, partnerships and relationships. Look at that. And you know, I have to say, Virgos, the inform the ways that I, you know, was reading your cards and looking at the stars, you know, I was getting so many different things. I wasn't quite sure of how this would come together but you know the angel number here is really (laughs) resonating and bringing it all together and that's just that's the magic of spirit you just have to trust right you have to trust so um two also resonates with faith and trust (laughs) and serving your divine life purpose and soul mission all right 1212 is a message from your angels that you're to stay focused on your highest expectations as the angels and universal energies work behind the scenes helping you to manifest your wants and desires goals and needs Angel number 1212 is a powerful sign that you are to step out of your comfort zone and take new directions and or begin new projects and ventures that you have been wanting to do for a long time now. Angel number 1212 encourages us to release our fears and apprehensions and get on with pursuing our passions and purpose. It asks that you stay on a positive path and use your natural skills, talents, and abilities to their utmost for the benefit of yourself and others. Use positive affirmations and visualizations to enhance energies and draw them towards you. The more you focus on the positives, the quicker they are manifested into your reality. So, dear Virgos, that is your short and sweet message here. There's going to be new energies coming in. And uh, I'm so excited to see what it brings in for you all. Definitely take a look at the other readings here. If you are watching on the UA Light Insight YouTube, you'll be able to see the uh, Venus and Leo readings, the Jupiter and Taurus readings, and to see how the lunar nodes shifting into Aries and Libra will be affecting you specifically, check out the Eclipse Horoscope and Tarot Guide. It has such deep wisdom and information and insight about how these lunar node changes will be shaking up your lives all the way through from 2023 to January 2025, okay? So I hope that this aids in your journey. Um, Definitely take good care of yourselves.